everybody, and welcome to the Smart Ghost Morning Show, broadcasting from the home of the comic book men, J.M. Style and Bob's Secret Stash. I'm sorry, I, I, I let that go way too long. You let that go a I really go long way, time. I let that go way. I'm like, oh my god, are you you like just trying to get pissed off at Q and uh, Johnson? No, I, I like, mean... Does, oh my god, I want to get my blood boiling. Should that piss me off, or does it, should I let it run because it makes him look really, really bad? But you got to understand, <laughs> these guys... They, yes. they never look bad. I mean, to you and me, to, to rational human beings, they look bad. Right. But to their fans, they don't. And uh, I guess I'm calling their fans non-rational human beings, but uh, no, that's right the truth that. of it, for God's sakes. You're, you're right about that. Uh, but tong, ting. Like, uh, actually, my... my uh, I love that, though. I, I love it. I, I actually think that you should make that your ringtone. My own ringtone? I Sorry, think you could probably charge people, and they would be... Happy to give you money for maybe that. I, maybe I will. Maybe I will, Mike. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I will. maybe I will. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well, Ming Chen. It's good to see you. It's better to see you. The collaboration you. is alive and well. Despite oh. <laughs> whatever. You know what's shit. really funny? Tell them Steve Dave I, tried uh, to spin their way. It, it's so funny because I got up yesterday morning and I look on my Twitter feed mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, fuck, what are, what's, <laughs> what what's going on now? Time? Yeah. Um, no, 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 with, no, no, I never, I'm not like, <laughs> let's put it this way. If, um, a, a hypothetical, you know, you put me, it's like you and Lydia Cornell or yes. you and Ming. Yes. It's like, Ming, you're gone. <laughs> you're, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. You're over the side of the boat. You're, you're, which see on shore, Ming. One could mm -hmm. happen. Of course. She's a friend of the family. Now. Yeah, she is. Two should happen. Oh, absolutely. I think you guys would have a great, I, you guys I also, should pod. I'm, I would love to pod her. You're on different coasts. You know what? There, it's we're we're gonna have her on one of these pods. We're we're gonna do a morning show really with that. her one we'll of these see days. If uh, we're going to L.A., we are gonna see if uh, we can set a meeting up between you and her. I think it'd be fantastic. I love I I loved her. I fell she in love with is, her. Oh, of course. I continue to be in love with her. Here's what's real. I want a podcast with her, but you, my friend, no, this is your, this we, is all you. Though. We should, actually, no, I think that uh, it's like a mutual admiration society. It's, you don't have to do it either. I it's know, never either or. From, I know you, from my point I know you field, ate up every never either episode or. of Too Close for Comfort. I know every you were one of in them. love with her. Oh, yeah. Even though Johnson tried to spin it like, you're in love with Ted Knight, weren't you? <laughs> you're, you're a big old homo, weren't you? And you know, and and I love her. So I know she could take this right the right way. I'm sure you rubbed one out to her a couple of times. That's cool. uh, sure to be honest with you, that. no. But uh, <laughs> okay. thank you for thinking that. I'm That's fine. A, I think she'd be fine with that. Listen, I grew up uh, a Roman Catholic. You don't have to. I, I would Although love to am... say Irish Catholic, but no, it wasn't Irish Catholic. Right. Even though my mother was Irish, my father was Czech. Yes. So it's like I was. Roman Catholic. So I went to mass with the Latin, and you got caned if you know. Right. That, that that was Father Saint Laurent, the yeah. pastor of my my church. Anyways. Growing up, he was a scary man. Yes, everything's a so. Yeah, you don't rub one out to to Lydia Cornell. I'm yeah. sorry, just it's okay. You you All can't. Right. You're not allowed to. All right, you're just right saying, Mallory. You know what? We have a guest here you that you're making blush. I mean, me. You can say anything you want no, to. It won't really here. embarrass me. We've got not, two ladies, but yeah, two only ladies. Mallory has chosen. To grace the microphone. To grace the today. microphone. Hello. Hello, Mallory. This is Mallory May, special honored guest. Mallory May from Butterwinks. 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 That was in stereo. Did you like that? We, we sounded great. That was awesome. Yes. Just do it more often. Butterwinks. Is it Butterwinks or Butterwinks cookies? Butterwinks designs? Butterwinks. Butterwinks. Just Butterwinks. Butterwinks. It's Kick-Ass Butterwinks. Can we put Kick-Ass in front of it? I think that's my new title. All right, cool. Kick-Ass Butterwinks. I think so. If you don't know what Butterwinks is, uh, Mallory, Butterwinks makes bar none the coolest looking decorated cookies on the planet. I'm going to say I'm going to go out on a limb. And Not so much, okay. actually, because it's the truth. The most delicious and beautiful looking cookies well, on the face of the planet. They're so good looking. I can't even barely eat them. Actually, to be honest with you, I, I snagged some last night. Yes. And I ate them. Okay. Yes, it's off my diet. They're, they're I'm, for I'm, eating. I'm, I'm supposed to be carb free. Yeah. Mm, not I can't around. be. No, mm -mm. I can't. I. No. They were. They look too good. I. I ate them and the. Oh my god. <laughs> well, thank you both so much. Oh, delicious. Yeah. No, Mallory came to our attention when uh, she sent a friend up with a box of her decorated cookies, and we opened the box and inside were cookies of us. Yeah. How funky they were, were they? Um, now there's a secret stash round logo that Walt drew up with all five of us, mm -hmm. and she replicated this. On, in cookie form. In cookie form. 
I have – there's a, a face. My face is on a cookie. Yes. You deserve it. Oh, thank you. You both deserve it. Oh, and it's so sweet. And it's exact. I know. I was just amazed. And uh, yesterday we got a very special gift from Mallory. It's actually – let's talk about the other thing she sent up. Okay. The Pod Wars. The medals, the cookie yes. medals. The cookie like, medals for the pod this? wars. Yes, the the um, <laughs> the silver and bronze or silver and gold. Yes. Silver and gold. Gidim still has bronze, I'm told. Oh god. Hanging in his house. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I don't mm. know what he's doing with that thing. He said it's hanging and it brings him happiness. So I'm oh, okay, I guess okay. that's I guess that's how did he get bronze? Yeah, how did he get bronze? Because it was bottle dump bronze. It was just made made for him. Oh, oh it was a bottle dump okay. no one else wanted that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should want it. But it's bottled up bronze. Bottled yeah, that's. Bronze. He deserved it. It was meant Oof. to be. I don't know if he deserved it. He no, definitely no. didn't deserve it. No, if it's not death, he doesn't deserve it. So. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I can't remember. Do you remember what you set up in that first batch? It was all. It was all five of us, right? Then you did a Kevin one, Walt, Brian. And yep, I there was a Secret Crypt- logo. And there was a Cryptozoic man. Uh, or did that come batch later? That, that one you came sent. with Brim. I send you guys so much. Yeah, yeah I know. It's awesome. Um, Brim came and he brought, and I did some Cryptozoic man. Our friend Brimstone. Yes. Brimstone, the wrestler. Awesome, great guy. Um, what else do they do? I did an I Sell Comics logo. You did? I yes, did. that's fantastic. Did have it. Um, I War of the Undead. War of the Undead. Uh, which War of the Undead did you do? Was it the, did you do the Nazi? Oh mm-hmm. my goodness. Yeah. You did the Nazi zombie? Yeah. Holy crap, the Nazis. <laughs> Nazi cookies. That's. And then I had to involve everyone. I also did the Space Monkeys. And oh, the logo. Did, did yeah. the Space yes, Monkeys did the logo. And then, and then I did Nugget for What Say You. Because oh, I just the, <laughs> love all you guys. Oh, and then I have an L.A. Mings one up in my office. Yes. And uh, these are beautiful. Um, I know this isn't visual. Although, well. Um, we can tweet it. Yes. We but can tweet if, it. I mean, if you want to look at it right now, you got Butterwings.com. Butterwings.com. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Just, just Butterwings? Butterwings. Okay. And I'll be anywhere. And I also have prints for sale and original cookie art and commissions, and that's at mkt.com slash butterwings. But basically, you'll do anything. 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 In cookie form. You yeah. just, holy crap, you'll man. You'll do anything in cookie hey, form. I'm going to open myself up to a whole bunch of lawsuits. You'll do anything, right? <laughs> and I just remember that first batch you sent up, people send us a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, artwork, um, whatever. And most of it were just Don't send scripts, people. Stop doing that. Yeah, and a lot of it we open it up and uh, I'm always like, oh, this is kind of cool. Walt is always like, meh. And it's like, ooh. Or sometimes like, ooh, this is terrible. Yours? <laughs> All those people not, out there who sent yours, he far cracked work. A, yours, he cracked a smile. That, yes. Yours impressed him. That's all you can ask for with Walt Flanagan. Yours impressed him. They were so honorable. freaking good. <laughs> and it's not like, uh, you know, we were done in um, kind of comic book cartoon format anyway so it's not the most challenging mm. I would imagine. although i mean you replicated it exactly so that's the hard part but you do stuff that's way more elaborate i like, do i do enjoy doing very elaborate elaborate comic book art and replicating you know fine pieces of art like i've done starry night by vincent van gogh and i've been having fun doing alphonse mucha pieces and just anything that is challenging, I have fun doing. Yeah. Because there are so many bakers out there that are doing uh, Alphonse Mucha. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. I, you know, I, I heard there's an entire movement going on. Uh, well, it's crazy. Prior to this, like, a decorated cookie would be like a Pac-Man cookie. <laughs> I've done Pac-Man. <laughs> or right, a black but, and white but cookie. not like your Pac-Man, but like, you know, your Pac-Man has like depth. And like it looks 3D like <laughs> as much depth as you can give. Pat or um, I've seen uh, like uh, if you're from Pennsylvania, the place called Eaton Park. There's like the smiley face cookie. That's what they're known for. But it's literally like a round cookie, yellow frosting, two dots, and a, and a smiley. I'm taking it to the next level. And yours is tr- is truly art. Like thank you. So I, I believe you, you walk me through the process. So you know you do the dough, you bake the cookie. Yep. Then you kind of you have to sketch on it. Well, you have to draw it out. Usually, I start with a drawing. Do- I won't start a cookie unless I draw it first. Okay. So from that, depending on if it's a shape, I'll make a stencil and then cut the dough from the shape of the cookie. So the drawing really depicts what the cookie shape is going to be. Right. And then I will sketch with like um, edible markers, and just from then on, I make colors from royal icing. It's all royal icing, and it's all pipe freehand. So. May I just say one thing that uh, from a culinary standpoint, that there are people out there who cook for a living and who are professional chefs, professionally trained cooks, or have done it for so long that they are very good at what they do. That's seat of the pants cooking, in my opinion. That's not just my opinion. It's what we do. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, 
a former cook, former chef, did all that stuff. Baking is taking it to a separate level, but... Baking is a bit different. You, it, it takes an inordinate amount of patience. I We had to do um, baking at... I, I went to CIA. We had to do baking there. Mm-hmm. And wow. We had to do <laughs> petty fours and just the... Oh, petty fours are the worst. Petty fours are the worst. <laughs> and we would have to, to actually make our own piping bags. Mm-hmm. Parchment and, uh, paper Parchment columns. paper. Yes, uh, exactly. Yep. And then we would have to, you know, pipe out and we would have to do... <laughs> It was it was insane the amount of intricate detail that we would have to do That's because they're so small. Exactly, and it's it's nuts. Yeah. So it takes it takes um, that level of patience. Plus, you have to have talent to do this. So it's I mean you're you're like layered. It's like <laughs> talent you. upon talent upon talent because right you draw mm-hmm. and you have an artistic flair to begin with which is that's the whole really, basis of all of these basically yeah. not really in keeping with someone <laughs> with patience because i don't know a lot of artists who are terribly patient yeah <laughs> so i like to say i'm not so much a baker as i am a decorator because before this it was cakes and then i found cookies and cookies was just like painting just with a brand new medium true but it, it would be one thing if your cookies weren't delicious <laughs> and if they were just bargain bit if, if you were like sketching on a chips ahoy that's something complete it's like yeah well yeah, right. this, i mean this it tastes it, it okay, tastes okay yeah. but look at how cool it looks right. no it's delicious and funtricious i, I think it's, good. it's yes. fun to look at it one. is it's fun to look at so <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And you can actually use it. Funtricious, it's yours. Yeah. So Mike says that about Kate Upton all the time. By the way. I have never said she's that about Kate Upton. And she's fun to look at. But if she would like to use that, Mike Zapsic says I'm funtricious. Right. Funtricious? She, she can use it too. Yeah. Funlicious, funtricious, whatever you want to call it. I don't it. think my cookies have ever been compared to Kate Upton either. So they're, 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 these, these are the, these Ming Chan and Mike Zapsic. These are the go. Kate Upton of cookies. You, oh, thank you yeah, so perfect. much. There you go. <laughs> Actually, some dude yesterday called you the Jack Kirby of Cookie. Yes, owner. yesterday. The, actually, the cartoonist. He does a lot of stuff. Ditko on, Von Kirby. Yes, yes. he does Very a lot of nice. stuff for everyone He would know. He worships Jack Kirby. Oh, well. And he's I'm also stealing honor. my image to make is, um, money. Is this so case I'm, open? I'm, oh, yeah. no. Oh, no, no. That's great. I don't care. This case isn't open, is it? Uh, no. Yeah, well, just, well, it could, but yeah, I don't it doesn't right here. now. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this over. Why don't you bring that over? Wow, look at me. Here, if you can see this. I got This is out of this. And you're right next. to like this. I know. That's a cookie. You're right next yeah, to the Phantasm right. Ball yeah, they're, by they're, they're Michael Baker. So, pretty cool, right? That's a freaking cookie. Now, you brought us You brought us an 8 by t- pretty much an 8 by 10 comic book man. It, it's a very rare poster. So, it's the poster it was awesome. of uh, uh, Kevin as a Galactus and, uh, you know, our comic book and comic book characters, like the poster. Yes. So that's not my original art, I have to say. Disclaimer. So no, but it for you made it your own. <laughs> Come on. Like, seriously? You like, made it your so own. It looks fantastic. Well. It's it's just freaking amazing. And you said you did that last minute. You're like, you're about I to leave. It, I finished it in uh, the morning I left on the plane. I had to bring like something. Like something like that, like an 8x10 cookie with that much color and detail. How long did that take you? Start to finish. Um, it really, it probably takes a few hours start to finish, but I do it just as I sit. in stages. But yeah. Okay. If I'm doing a cookie from start to finish, like that one, I worked on in between other projects. Um, but it's usually a two to three day process, just because you can't pr- put certain colors next to each other; <laughs> otherwise, they will bleed, and then you right. ruin the entire thing. So, I mean, you kind of have to have a game plan before you start the cookie, because if you put a black right next to like a peach, then you ruin the entire thing, and it's just you have to know where you're going to go and have just sort of a plan to it's get like there. You, you can't put Ming next to Brian Johnson. It's true. Can't. Right. That was I just said his name. The so underlying of what I was saying. Perfect. Yeah. No, I just said that. Like, so a, he like, would a, like one mic cookie. How long does that take you? Uh, well, like usually about three, mi- three minutes. Just, just a three minutes? Yeah. 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 All right. That one, I have an easy face. Oh, yeah. cool. All right. All right. Yeah, but thing. usually it's people good. don't want one cookie. They want like 30 of them. So. Yes, yes. I mean, <laughs> For a party. Usually, usually we're doing so many orders that um, it's one day all what I call flooding right. or filling, and then the next day it's all outlining and detailing. Yeah. So, I mean, it's <laughs> everyone say hi to Gio. Hello. <laughs> That's my friend Gio, yes. and I'm making her. She refuses to talk, but we're That's cool. including her anyways. That's cool. We do enough talking for everybody yeah. here. Oh my god, we don't shut up. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you really impressed uh, the two biggest hard asses I know 
No rewards. Very honored. And Brian. Very honored. I remember Brian. I remember when Brian got here. He was like, "Holy crap! Like, I want to keep this forever." Yeah, he said. He um, went out and he bought shellac yeah, for it so he could keep it. A lot of people do that. <laughs> I actually did that to that one, and I have a bunch that are hanging in shadow boxes and. Up for, I have a few up for sale and then a few that were in magazines that I just like looking at. So you can make these permanent. <laughs> you can. You can. Just put some clear coat over yeah, it. Yeah, clear like. coat, shellac, anything from the craft store. And Mallory, you made Kirby Dots. They have Kirby Dots They're on Kirby, them. freaking Kirby Dots. There are Kirby Dots on, on there. The Kirby one. Crackle. So I'm. That, it's amazing. Which And they're not. They're like little dots. Yeah. Like painstakingly yeah. applied on them. People would say about Kirby, like, are you in... You insane? Because, I mean, you have Kirby dots in there. I mean, they call them dots. Yeah, these are truly, like, next level. Like, some people do, like, all right, they'll do a Spider-Man face. Big deal. No, go you'll do, further. You'll do a Spider-Man fighting the freaking Green Goblin in <laughs> Manhattan. Haven't yet, but I will now. Like, shooting a web. I, I mean, you've done, pa- have you, you've done, like, comic book panels, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I did a, uh, like, the Brimstone, uh, who we were talking about earlier, uh, wolverine batman fighting from his one of brimstone's books yeah so i did that and that actually got auctioned off the stan lee foundation so i mean i just i love doing all different sorts of art and i especially love comic book art it's so much more fun than anything else i mean you can only do a mickey mouse face so often and not not have fun so you try to talk kids and screw mickey mouse go for drax No. Yeah, really. I mean, they're both owned by the same company, so... You know, you know Rocket know. Raccoon's a big deal right now. You yes. wanna, I mean, they're both animals. Well, <laughs> Rabbit cookies. Awesome. That yeah. would be cool. Yeah, foaming at the mouth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, so you'll do anything to... Uh, you know, our faces were, I don't know, about three inches maybe. Yeah, they, I two. had to do little because he was coming on a plane to come yeah. see you guys. But the biggest I've done, I think, was about four feet. And four feet long, two feet tall. What was that? It was actually another Stanley piece, and it was Hulk reading, and then just all these characters, and Stanley in the middle, being the boss that he is. <laughs> for so it was like a mu- freaking mural. Yeah, yeah. I have form. a lot of. I want to do a lot of things with cookies, and I want to keep going bigger every single time. So. No Lorna Dunes for you. You want you want like um, wall size. Yes. Excellent. I want to do cool. installations. Why are you laughing? It's not funny. It's not funny. Yeah, it's not no, funny. Okay. No, it's Wall funny. of cookies? Of course you're great. picturing it. It sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so your next project, you're working on like, a, you're going bigger. You're going six foot. I am going Not six only six foot, foot, but. Six foot Boba Fett is my next plan. Oh. Real life size. It's basically life size. Yep. He's life six size foot Jeremy, one, I believe. Jeremy Bullock. Or right now, it, it could be Daniel Logan. Could Baby be. Fett. <laughs> yes. I have a picture of topless Daniel Logan with one of my. Um, oh, I don't doubt cookies. that. I have no, no doubt. doubt. Yeah. You hear that dude loves to party. No excuse. <laughs> he just any anything. His shirt is off. Okay. We, we heard that dude loves to party. That's what I hear as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You can troll back to some of what our other yeah, episodes. I've heard. What's the boat? Are, are you allowed to see what the, what the Boba Fett is for? Is that secret? Um, it's for a collaboration. Um, a lot of artists from around the world do a lot of collaborations. We just had 40 Cakes Around the World uh, debuted yesterday, I believe, publicly. And um, like, I have another one coming, which I'm not sure if I'm supposed to talk All about, right. but it's a certain cartoon okay. that starts with an S that's about to have a 25th anniversary. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. I didn't. Even, holy shit. Hold on, I'm going back. Mike, come on, years. Mike. Hold on, Mike, hold come on. on. Pull it out. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Can't say anything yet. No, 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 no. But look for that because it's... Oakley doakley. <laughs> I believe it's... Um, I didn't even think of that. The 18th. It's dropped. Yeah, it's for like, the 25th anniversary. If I want anniversary. Yeah. a cookie from a specific scene yeah. that I like, like you could do it. Yeah, definitely. I sleep in a race car. Do you sleep in a race car? Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> Awesome. That would be awesome. That would or the the Arby's throw it over the fence. Let Arby's deal. Yeah, let with Arby's it. deal with it. I'm so hungry. I can eat at Arby's. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. How cool that! Like like I, I like we could have an auto cookie. That you should have an auto cookie. You could have any auto. cookie you could dream of, Ming. Oh man. <laughs> oh. I, I and yes, I have gone there with cookies. But I don't have know. You really oh, been? dear God. People yeah. requested that? I, Holy God. Bachelorette parties get crazy. Bachelor parties get crazy. They want cookies. They want to. 
eat certain things. <laughs> right. I'm sure well, they how do. do you, like, I'm I've, sure they do. How did you do it in your style, though? Did, you, did Were they... they were how did you make those extra special? They were realistic. Really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Especially realistic, what, Ming. What more do you want me to say? You want I don't know. I just can't pick. The, like, I know. Like, which way I, it was leaning? No, he just he wants you to say like, it, okay. so you don't have to. All right. If you do a Google search, <laughs> mm-hmm. there's a picture of Walter Flang actually holding a penis cookie. And it's 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 not the – you can tell what it is. But it's not like in your style. You're saying there really is? This is – There yeah. is. No, yeah, oh, yeah, there, there is, is actually. There is. There is, but it's just kind of, you know, it's got I the can, shape. I can get him a more realistic one if he wants, if he wasn't satisfied with the penis. He looks pretty satisfied in that picture. I don't uh, know about you, Mike, but he looks pretty satisfied. Uh, satisfied it's is just annoyed. like, okay, you the have... Word I'd, annoyed is the word that I... Actually, any picture I see of Walt is him looking annoyed a yeah. little bit. There's <laughs> a little annoyance. I, I remember, in... it's like, it's kind of shaped. It's got some white icing on it, and like where the balls are, there's like, you know, the little drawings for like where the hair is, and it's not like the most elaborate cookie. And I'm just Sometimes like, I think you just back people into corners just so you can talk like this kind of crap to yeah, them. But I'm, no, I'm it's just, amazing. Just like wow, like how do you, why, I'm sure you've went the extra mile on yours. Oh, of course. Okay. No, and you know he's been that. waiting for years to talk about the penis cookie. No, I had no idea you did them. So. <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, I'll do anything that people need. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Does anyone really need a penis cookie? They needed them. Okay. I don't. Right. I didn't ask questions. I'm right. not here to judge. I'm just here to make cookies. Oh, I'm. I constantly judge. <laughs> I mean, really. Even when I tell people I'm not judging, I'm always judging. So before you send those cookies, up, were you a fan of Comic Book Men and or Tom, Steve, Dave? Okay. As we so were how talking, did this help? I, how, I, how did this happen? I definitely. After he said he was like going on Comic Book Men. You need to make me. Oh, your friend. Yes. Who came yes, up here? He was, uh, his name is Swit. And he's at theswit.com. He's a very talented okay. artist. He, um, he wanted to bring cookies. And I was like, I live under a rock. So explain this to me. Okay. Yeah, you don't, have, you don't have TV. <laughs> no, I don't have TV. Okay. Um, and then from that on, I just did my research and I started listening to tell him Steve, a- Steve, Steve Dave. And right. that was over a year ago now that we did that. And then I've just sort of been immersing myself in everything Smodco and comic book men and everything that you guys have to offer and i love it so of course i had to send you more cookies because that's just what i do and do you listen while you're making cookies i do okay, that's, that's cool. my favorite thing to do it, podcasts cool. are perfect for making cookies because i'm busy with my hands i can't really watch tv you know you can only listen to the same song so often right. and then i just now my phone is full of <laughs> podcasts it's too much that's the way it's going to be, Ming. People Wait, are going to have their, like, there's my wedding phone. Instead of, you know, pictures, podcasts, <laughs> my wedding phone. Yes. There's I'm, uh, I'm waiting for the Sunday Jeff cookie. Oh. We need a Sunday Jeff cookie. I did, Sunday. I, I did you did, do one? I did one. In one episode, they described, I think he was going to get a Sunday Jeff tattoo. Right. And he's like, I wanted it like a square for, from a calendar. And it says Sunday. And then it said Jeff. Yeah. So I did that. And with, like, Old English, it's... Uh, I did his name Jeff in a Sunday calendar box, which is also on the internet. That would be kind of awesome, Sunday Geoff. Oh, Sunday he Jeff. hates when people do spell their name Geoff. Oh right, yeah, G E O F. I thought you meant I spelled his name wrong. No, 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 no. no, no, no he's no, straight no. up Jeff. Yeah. He's straight up Jeff. Straight, he's straight up, up Jeff. It's Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff doesn't screw around. But I could definitely. I that, so uh, you kind of do these cookies. Almost sight unseen. You're like, you didn't. She first, did it on the spec. The first, the, the first, batch. first, the first, the first batch. batch. Yeah, I did. I sort of scoured the internet and the uh, the website and found the logo right. and the shirts and everything. Yeah. And so I just went but from now, there. But now, like, you know. Yeah, but, so more... you can definitely tell from my first batch that I did you guys. I was like, okay, you want cookies? I'll yes. make you cookies. And then the second one, it was like the War of the Undead and the Nugget and now all you'll... those. And it was just like everything I love and. So. And in case anyone thinks that I'm racist, no, it was a chupacabra um, what did you, reference. Did, did you I said she something? did it on the spec, which is from oh, uh, okay. Comedy Bang Bang. So okay. if you don't get that and you don't listen to Comedy Bang right. Bang, you shame, sh- on you you. shame on you. Shame on you. You should. I think the one that Walt really liked, the Cryptozoic, you did a Cryptozoic. Oh, God, yes. yes. He loved that one. I did the booty time, so I have all of them, so I had it for reference. <laughs> oh, so you got the comics. Yes, just like, so everyone knows. You got your books. Yes, I do. I have them. Were they signed by Ming twice? 
Um, I think at least three times on each cover. Okay, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. You, you did. Well, I knew they were for you. Oh, oh thanks man. so much. Well, so there's a, we actually have a picture of Sunday Jeff back there. Mm-hmm. It is the world famous picture of Sunday Jeff. He's what? like kind of grinning. Yeah. He's got his head. Is that the same tilted. one that is the tattoo? Yes. Yes. The yes. Yeah, infamous Sunday Jeff tattoo. Yes. 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 Yeah. Which we have no more have of. No more. <laughs> oh, no. You guys got to stop talking about it. We didn't. No, it was no. the Tell Him Steve Dave guys that talk about so it. So I remember when we did the bicentennial battle. Mm-hmm. You sent up. Met, uh, Cookie medals. Yes, yes. Um, did you do that un, unprompted? Yes, I actually I emailed and get a, didn't get a response, and I said Shocking. I don't care. I'm making them anyway. Yeah, you sent I want to see if I can. And I, they're I mean, very ornate. They're very elaborate. Ah, they're gorgeous pieces. Yeah. That's why we're going for the gold. Yeah, yeah. I th- yeah. That spurred us on. <laughs> it did. You know, and those boys just. They couldn't taste it the they, way we they could. They couldn't, yeah. yeah. Couldn't give it. Couldn't, couldn't let us have it. Couldn't give couldn't it. Couldn't let us have it. Yeah, I know. I'm telling you. Bastards. Um, but I, I remember, um, I, I think you sent him in a bag or something. And before the scores were announced, Walt had him underneath. He was kind of cradling I think them. Walt purposely hid them so no one knew. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. But, but before, None of us saw. Before he announced the scores on the way, he was cradling them like, you know, they were valuable. And they, and they, They're and they, cookie gold. Yes. And he's like, I got prizes. And I'm like, ooh, what, what could this be? I'm and so then, happy with that. Not like the year before the with the prizes all broke. <laughs> well, what, what were they? Oh, Remember like, the helicopters? Yeah, we, had, we got these like remote control RC helicopters <laughs> that yeah, we tried, we just, tried to fly them around the store. And, like, like, we, oh, so man. were they broken or did you break no, we broke the them? Well, we, okay. Yeah, we broke you them. You should have known. It was a remote it was, control helicopter. Of course. It was, but we're, uh, how do we do this? And then it, yeah. uh, I'm like, oh, my God. We, oh, we definitely broke them. <laughs> Yeah, you're not supposed to make them spin that fast. I'm like, well, then why is there a throttle here? What is the purpose of these? Exactly. I'm not going to destroy them. Exactly. So I, I've learned that from having two sons. They, we did the same thing. Destroyed. I mean, destroyed household things. It was great. <laughs> They're fun. Yeah. Fun but once we got those medals, we got to we got to wear these and use them. So we made videos. Yes, with them. I'm so happy you did. <laughs> They're my favorite videos. <laughs> Which are on YouTube. We have gotten so much like shit feedback from people like you suck. I don't care. I'm, I don't care. They're there are a couple. There are a couple we still have to do, and we should yeah. make them. Um, yeah, we got a couple. We, still we have, have, we have couple. two, uh, two or three ideas that we still want to do. Yeah, so we're, we're, going yeah, we're to. still, we're still gloating about. We're still and gloating. it's still for TSD two hundred. Yeah, oh, of course. Yeah, of course. You guys aren't sore winners or anything. Are I, you kidding? Do you know how many great times? Great. Are you know how many times they, we actually win? Not ever. So let us have. I'm it. telling you. You know what? It's against um, all odds we want to because these things are so skewed. Of course they are. And d- do are. you see they, it? They might as well break our ankles and make us run a marathon. Yes, yeah. And that's the that's kind of hobbling we get. Yeah. We still get him, won. Steve. De- or get, yeah, yeah, get, yeah, get him. Get him. Get him as a judge. As a judge. <laughs> yeah. Get him hates me. With no good one, reason. No one can accuse that. Stuff. Oh, Come that's on. not true. Yeah, get him. Get him. Like oh, get him. Get him. Doesn't like me. Doesn't like you. Sunday, Jeffy. I. I don't think he even knows who he is. He's like, oh, you're the guy. I don't know about yeah. Well, he won't take Walt's balls out of his mouth. So, like, come on, like. That's yeah. Could you make a cookie of that? Yeah, you <laughs> make a cookie of that. Him like gargling. Yeah, okay. Him gargling. You just keep doing Walt's descriptive nuts. words, and I'll you know, okay. think about it. Like I could sketch that out. If yeah. you want. <laughs> I think there are pictures. There has there, to yeah, be. Yeah, there might be. Yeah, there might be even pictures. Like, oh. get him on Instagram, right? Of course. Yeah, I don't know if it's on Instagram. <laughs> Definitely on Twitter. <laughs> Definitely right. on Twitter. Yeah. Um. So you do a lot of comic book stuff. You love doing the comic book stuff. I are do, you a I comic book do. fan? I'm getting into it more and more ever since we did our first con, which I did just because I thought, you know, it's such a very targeted market. Yes. I said, there's so many things I could do and everyone's going to love it. And then from then, I have started reading. My favorite is actually Five Ghosts by uh, Frank, cool. Frank Barberi yeah. and uh, Chris Mooneyham. I just actually finished the second volume on our way to New Jersey. And it's Amazing. Might um, I make a suggestion for you? Yes, go ahead. You should. Yourself. You should. Uh, here Are you we going to talk? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, well, actually, I'm, I'm like in my head. And right here, I can hear myself. Um, <laughs> Afterlife with Archie. Mm-hmm. It is such a freaky read because it's it not really what you expect. Oh, my God. It's not what you would expect. You're like, well, it's Archie. It's Archie, right? Well, nothing bad ever happens in Riverdale. Something bad happens in Riverdale. Yeah. Something. So, yeah, it's I'm pretty so cool. Excited. I, like all right, then I'll keep talking like this. Yeah. Now, I have a question for you. Yes. How did you and uh, Brimstone hook up? I mean, our buddy Brimstone. But, the, our buddy the Brimstone, the wrestler. I think it all comes full circle because I think he saw it from the cookies I did for you guys first. Really? Yes, I believe so. And he just called me one day and was like, I 
I saw your cookies for Comic Book Man. I see your cookies on Instagram. They're amazing. We need to do something. And really? so yeah, so we start I started sending him cookies for cons and he, you know, shows everyone our work and I actually in Myrtle Beach I came and sat on his sat with his table and uh did some cookies and He's just really awesome. When he sees something, oh, he's when he sees something he likes, he wants to help you. And That's fantastic. I mean, he's good at that. Oh, yeah. he's he's an amazing guy, and uh, God bless I mean, him. I love Brim. God he's, bless him. Um, that's. That is so weird. That's uh, not the answer I was expecting. I was expecting. Well, we we go back a long ways because no, it seems no. it was like wow, you guys are like like thick as thieves. I was like, wow, <laughs> famous friends, great. So no, you're hanging out. All. It all come everything just comes from the cookies. People. Everything comes from comic book men. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So that's actually pretty neat. Yeah, it all came together and you know, I keep meeting people, I keep doing cons, keep meeting really great people to know and just keep spreading. People like what I'm doing and I couldn't be more proud and happy and I'm so happy that they do. Well, we love it, man. I'm ma'am. 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 Sorry, Mallory. I, we, um, we love that. I, I, I'm i going to take a picture. I'm putting, not, I don't, I think I have an Instagram, but I'll put do. it on Twitter. You I, do. Not only on Instagram, you got like freaking 5,000 followers. You've, You've not posted, posted one anything? photo. And your first post is going to be a Butterwings cookie? Hell yeah. Yeah. He's got like, he's literally got like 5,000 followers. Not one photo though. I'm pretty sure That's I pimp. follow you. Just in case. That's pimp, right? That's pimp then, right there. Okay. Well, I, I didn't That's know I was pimp, but all right. I'm pimp. Like I, I'm too cool <laughs> to post any photos, but yet I got all these followers. I, like, I just, I ne- it never occurred to me to, to post stuff. To I do it, it on Twitter, yeah. It's the whole point That's, of the... Yeah. <laughs> Ming, I'm not no. you. I, you know, you are like you tech can't. savvy. Me, not so much. I'm, I'm sort of like, I'm, I'm the caveman, I'm, you know. Right. I take that lighter and try to like scrape it against a rock to make fire. <laughs> uh, what are you doing a lot of right now? I know like the turtles, it's hot. And you did like a little five panel turtle, which looks freaking amazing. Oh, yeah. I actually did that live. I decorated live at a local Barnes & Noble and they were having, they had a like a get pop cultured week. And they wanted me to come on the Ninja Turtle Day. So I was like, awesome. Yeah. Definitely. And that one was actually probably about two feet, yeah. I believe. And I decorated it. It took about two and a half hours. Yeah, you did like five finish. separate panels of each turtle. Mm-hmm. And it was for the an anniversary. action shot. Yeah. I mean, that was that one was, I just sketched it up the night before and uh, made the colors and did my thing. That's really all it is. It's not yeah, as complicated. you make it sound so it's, freaking it's, easy. I know, yeah. You make it sound no, so no, easy. No, no, I've done stuff, like, n- not even close to what you're doing. I made the smiley face on the cookie. <laughs> yeah, I've been like, like wow, holy crap. And, like, four sucks. hours later, I'm yeah. like, holy crap. Yeah. You know, like sweat your, pouring your, off me. Your stuff literally has depth to it. Yes. You. Yours, not just depth. It's got width and breadth, and it's got dimension oh so many it's fantastic words. i know i'm the that's what happens when you hang out with wolf lanigan you learn art words <laughs> so i i mean it's amazing i'm i'm actually on the facebook butterwinks site yeah phenomenal facebook.com slash butterwinks yep yep butterwinks.com will bring has, uh, has anyone requested anything you're like i'm not doing that i can't do it like, i can't think of a certain thing that i okay you seem down. pretty laid back so. i um yeah oh in that manner yeah i yeah. mean i don't care oh, look at this spider-man I mean that. Look at just look at it. Cool is that? Look at the you oh, did that. That's the class. you did that. Well, I'm I'm visiting up in Boston. I actually taught a class. Um, that was the class that I did. They requested Spider Man. Apparently, Spider Man's huge everywhere. I actually taught that one in Spain as well in uh, April. Nice. Yeah. So you are Victoria from How I Met Your Mother. That's amazing. <laughs> so cool. So you're except, getting- except I wouldn't run out on my. Uh, yeah, you should. Well, I, did did you meet him? I mean, he what was his name? Gunter. I, don't know. I think it was Gunter. He seemed like such a dork. So <laughs> you, know, you would have been well, well, first to throw him to the curb. All right. I'll For Josh Radner, yes, <laughs> he's dreamy. So you're going to request now to go out and like teach classes and yes, do yes, classes I've been and do demos. Classes and, a, lot, a lot lately. Um, like I did three in Spain in April. Like I did one in Boston just recently, and then I'll also be in Italy in November for the first European cookie event for uh, cookie school, and then I'll be teaching about four or five classes. Then <laughs> and there's actually there's actually a cookie con too, right? It's yes, in Salt there Lake is City. a cookie con, and I it's only it's still in its infancy. I mean, it's only been two years. I think September next year will be the third year, and I'd love to go if anyone's listening. Mm, you know what? There's a Kickstarter for that. 
Or there, there could be. So I mean, I, why, not? why not? How Speaking do you, of Kickstarter, yes, I actually, you, actually you have also, a Kickstarter. Not for me specifically, but a, a friend of mine, Martin Dunn, who's actually done work for IDW and uh, Image. He's putting together a Kickstarter. Um, his seven-year-old daughter recently lost her uh, family pet, and it really affected her heavily. And she said, "You know, I want to do a comic book." So it's called Fetch an Odyssey, and uh, she goes to the heavens and wants to rescue her. her oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I know oh, it's so precious. Heartbreaking. I know. So he's got a Kickstarter, and there is a Butterwings tier. So while we're not doing orders at the moment, you can also get this awesome book and all these rewards, and get a Butterwings cookie pack as well. That is so cool. And what's what's the? It's Fetch and Odyssey, and they have a Facebook page, and the Kickstarter I believe is launching tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that, just because it's so special. I mean, he cares so much, and that's amazing. No, I'm we're big Kickstarter fans here. <laughs> you know, I I think that some of the the best stuff comes out of Kickstarter. Yeah. And uh, I'm still waiting for one guy who is uh, actually one of my favorite Kickstarters was uh, his son, and he um, it's about a um, a superhero who has a son who's born with Down syndrome, mm-hmm. and it's. Actually, really, really, it, it tugged on my heartstrings, and I was like, "Yeah, sure." Yeah. So I donated to that, and I'm waiting for him to finish. Where are you? I want it now. <laughs> I'm not terribly patient, as you can tell. That's why I didn't go into cookie making. <laughs> but I'm sitting here looking. Oh my god! Oh yes, my the Wolf Flanagan page, Wolf Flanagan, famous monsters, famous monsters of Universal there's, there's monsters. A, uh, Halloween Frank, is definitely there's a Frankenstein. my favorite. Is, is Halloween your biggest? It's um, my, yes, your it's busy huge. season. It's that's kicks off busy season, and it's probably my favorite holiday to cookie fi. Oh, that's so cool. I love. Yeah, that was my Frankenstein. That's fan. That's so that's quacktastic. Sketch to cookie to full decoration. Yep, that one actually started because of the sketch. I kind of just sat down. Sometimes you just need to draw. And I uh, sketched the Frankenstein as I was just kind of watching a movie one night. And then I was like, I'm going to make this a cookie, too. Who's your favorite monster, then? I mean, of all the monsters, even Godzilla. Let's let's throw the the, the Japanese monsters in there. I'm, Who's your favorite you monster? Your favorite monster? I, I Everyone mean, has a favorite. <laughs> I love doing Frankenstein's monster. He's, Frankenstein. I mean. Very nice. I'm also, I'm a huge Dracula fan. And it doesn't even have to be Bella. Although Bella is the best. So how did you get started with all this? Um, do you, I know you said you did you decorate cakes. Yeah, Before I, that, you were probably, you, you drew, you were yeah, an artist. Yeah, it's just always been art. I've always been drawing. Um, I did art in high school, and that was kind of the end of the fine art. I, I kind of lost it a little bit. I said, I don't want to do this. I don't want to paint. It's just not, it didn't feel right. And then I started cake decorating just at a local grocery store and I said this is lame I don't want to do this. You're writing happy birthday and doing roses and yeah, stuff. Yeah like exactly sugar roses. exactly oh I said I need to do something a bit mm-hmm. bigger a bit more and started doing cakes on my own and then found cookies and cookies just felt right. It's just the first thing that felt so right with what I was doing with art and everything and it's I've grown as an artist I've grown as a cookie artist I've as silly as that sounds but I mean it's perfect it's just like drawing it's just like painting and it's in a medium that no one has really ever seen before in this manner. So it's really exciting for people to see. And when they see it, it's exciting for me to see their reactions. I mean, was it one day you just made a lump of dough, rolled it out, and just started? Or do you have like a mentor, like a Yoda? Oh, it's de- oh my mom. Your mom? My mom, of course. It's me and my mom. Okay. She, she was, she's she been baking all of her life. She's been, you know, in and out of Italian bakeries everywhere we live. She's always, you know, baking and making everything and Um, the day I actually quit my job, the Florida cottage food laws were set into place. And she said, you know what, we're doing something. And that's just where it started. And from day one, we were Butterwings. And it's just, it's almost three years later now. Yeah, much to Walt's. Yes. (laughs) Not just me, but he mentioned on the bicentennial. I was like, the only... I walked in and, and he was like, what do you have here? I was like, cookies. And he was like, cookies, so you're Butterwinks. And I said, yeah, the ones that remind you of butts. And yeah. he, he you mentioned that on the Bicentennial Battle. He was like, yeah, I love these cookies. They're great. You know, the only thing I don't really like is the name. <laughs> like Butterwinks reminds me of butts. Like I said, three years, he was <laughs> the only person that has ever said anything like that but about the name. Butter. I mean, he, butter. Yeah. Does he think that whenever he hears butter? I have no idea. He doesn't like butter sauce. He doesn't like No, no. Butter no, I don't think no. he likes I don't. He might no. be the only guy I know who doesn't like butter. Oh, okay. Or anything. Then he's validated. And, you know. Plus it's it all chicken. Again. Chicken, chicken winks. Chicken, chicken winks? Yeah, if it was chicken, chicken winks, winks, he would have been cool. Oh, chicken and pizza like, winks? Right. Yeah. 
<laughs> pizza wings. Oh, pizza, oh yeah, pizza, just like, oh, is pizza that wings would have been awesome. <laughs> can, can you incorporate that? <laughs> yeah, but I, um, was it? Uh, yeah, I mean, you mentioned like you know some colors you can't put together. Was that a lot of trial, trial and error then? To I mean, did you like how many times did definitely, you mess definitely. up? Definitely, you can definitely. How much? How many cookies have you thrown out? Being like, God damn it! Not like, so much throwing out as just not being happy and sort of just figuring things out and doing something that you realize doesn't work and then fixing it again. It, like he's, it's just all trial and error. It's all practice. I mean, you can go back and look at my cookies from 2011 and go, who made those? Those are hideous. So I still leave them up there just so people can see. I mean, it really is just you know. Is practice. that when you started? Like what, about three years ago? Mm -hmm. So in three years, you've mastered. I wouldn't say mastered. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I mean, <laughs> they both. I, know, I, I mean, what's <laughs> no? I'm looking over there, and that's like, pretty. What's the one thing you want to do that you haven't done yet? I want to keep going bigger. I want to keep doing, you know, original art, which is like something with cookies. A lot of people want for parties or something like yeah. that. I don't get a chance to. Oh, they want just licensed stuff. Shh, oh, <laughs> how about the Sistine want... Chapel? How about that? Something they like... want stuff they were familiar with. Yes, there you go. <clears throat> sure. So um... stuff that they like. <laughs> How about that? Just stuff, stuff they that like. they like. But I mean, as I'm growing, I'm I'm getting more opportunities to do more fun projects, like with these collabs and the Forty Cakes Around the World, the Cake Masters magazine yeah. out now at Barnes and Noble. Um, they are giving me a chance to sort of keep growing as an artist and just doing more things. Like I said, I just want to keep going bigger. Right. <laughs> and that's just doing art installations with cookies. I think would be amazing. All right. I mean, here's your current dilemma. You live in Florida. Live in Florida currently. You have a business, That's a dilemma in its own. Right. You have a business where uh, ideally you want to get cookies and sell them and ship them around the country and the world. Yes, yes. But we are currently on hiatus for orders. And hopefully starting 2015, we'll be shipping nationwide. We will be wholesaling. And hopefully you will see Better Wings cookies everywhere. That would be awesome. You will. Yeah. But you have the, the state laws are holding you back. The state laws are holding us back. So we're about to move. We're Currently looking at North Carolina, their laws are different, and we commercially licensed everything right out of our home, which is how we do it now. Yeah. Um, and but, it's, but basically in Florida, you're not allowed to ship food. Yeah, you Anything can't Anything that's classified as ship. food. Um, and I know you tried You tried going under the art angle, and they didn't, they didn't oh, buy it. God. Well, it's Florida. Florida is such a conservative state. I keep state. hearing. It is so. What I keep hearing. What are they afraid of? Uh, they're, Fun. They're afraid yeah, I guess of. So. They're afraid of death. Is what they're afraid of. It's all old <laughs> but people they're down so there. Close. <laughs> yes, I know. It's. Um, I live down there myself. I live down in Hope Sound. So, I I realize. Yeah. I just think it's ironic. You're people. doing these beautiful cookies. You want everyone to have them. You want people to yes. buy them, and yet you can't right now while you're in Florida. So you actually you are actually moving. Yes. So you can moving, further your business. Moving for the cookies for sure. Moving yes. To uh, North North, North Carolina, Carolina, where the laws aren't as. Stiff. Yes. Yeah, they have like the corpses that vote down in do. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Is it just a bunch of asses down there? Pretty much. Or, really? Old, oh you, you've, old you've, wrinkly you've, ones. You've lived down there. You live down there. You've lived down there. Most like, there's there's only a couple things to do down in Florida besides decorate cookies, <laughs> get drunk, play golf, right. or get sober. That's pretty much it. Okay. You, you got nothing really in there because there aren't there like 250 billion uh, rehabs down there. Drunks hate the cold, man. It's just the way it is. <laughs> yeah, I think once you do that, I think you're gonna blow up. That's we what will help. For. We'll, we'll help you as much as we can. Oh yeah, Thank you so my much. God. Uh, you already have both of you. Thank you. Oh, are you kidding? I, I love your stuff. I love more. your cookies. <laughs> we can do more now. I mean, you've actually had well-known people come across your designs and be like, and t contact you. Yes, yes. Then we just sort of had to say no. Like we had, obviously in Florida, we had uh, Universal Studios and. Just all these great theme like parks. Like they want them in their parks. They want them in their stores where they sell. I mean, they already have decorated cookies, and then they see us, and they're like, we like, want whoa. your quality yeah. decorated cookies. And I'm like, well, just not yet. And then we also had George Aquarium and um, just a lot of people. Wait, you can't, you can't even send out, you know, uh, in, in state? Nope, not in state. And, wow. and if, it's, if currently, if someone gets caught reselling my product, like as a retailer, like uh -huh. if they bought it personally and then was reselling, I can be sued and they can be sued. So we're staying let's, away from that. Let's take bids. <laughs> no, that's Just, fine because that's not edible. I've actually auctioned off of cookies like that. That's, okay, cool. So if you guys want to auction that off, I, I just I we're not auctioning that. We're keeping that. <laughs> yeah, seriously, that's we not, are keeping that. I'm I'm just such a that's rabble rouser anywhere. that I would do that just to piss off the well, Florida I mean, we, State we, Assembly. We hate the man. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ming, Ming hates the man. I do. I hate them. I've always hated the man. Yes, Ming hates the man. Always hated. Even the man. when you were the man, Ming, you hated him. I, I will never be the not not the man that holds everyone. You the man, not yeah, that man. We, we hate that those I people. I can't tell if, we're ha- if this is a good thing or a bad thing that's happening. Uh, What's that? Being the man. The man? Oh, it's almost never. <laughs> no, good. there's no it there's different. Bad for a second, and then it's it sounded good. There's like you know, there's like you're the man. That's good, but like you're the, like you know, I'm you're being the man. held back yeah. down by the man. That's held, not good. Being held down by the man, the man who held Shaft back. That's the man. Yes. Yes. Bastards. Do you have a favorite piece you've done? Um. Do you have one? You're like yeah. <laughs> um, there's like a handful like I brought a book of art um, a handful that I like I really love the Wolverine and the Brimstone and the Batman and I love my Mooka pieces and I also did a piece that was in another Barberry book uh, the White Suits issue 3 he was nice cool. enough to put our White Suits piece in the back of his book which was awesome and um, honestly every time I get to challenge myself and do something new and something that I'm sort of afraid to try it always becomes my new favorite because it's always I'm always getting better I'm always doing more and <laughs> doing something different and I can't help but say that that's my favorite after I'm done yeah. so the next thing the, the next, next thing is thing your favorite is always my favorite cool. next thing that's pretty damn cool absolutely it's how you know you're not getting stale and yes that was a cookie uh, pun so yeah it was a <laughs> I got no one with a rim shot here that's all right Good, good job, Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Ming. That's how I know he's being patronizing. Although I've got to start uh, opening the shop right now. Already? Yeah, I know. Time flies that was, when that you're was, uh, too quick. talking cookies. That was too quick. Will we be seeing more uh, Smodco cookies? If you Probably. would like to, of course. Oh, yes. oh, all the time. Like every week? All the time. Every week. That's a little much. Unless, I mean, I'm you, telling. you want to pay for it. I can uh, do it. Absolutely. Whatever. No, I mean, well, but where you see this going, you might have like warehouses and like employees yes you might be a ways away but i mean the not that far possibilities are endless i mean Mm. i'm really i'm ready for anything anything that any opportunity that comes my way i'm ready to jump on and do anything and open for any adventure (laughs) you know new jersey has really lax laws (laughs) oh my god you can open a commercial kitchen anywhere you know my my house is currently for sale i don't have to move to north carolina Mm, i'm telling you (laughs) You know what? Think about it. There, there. Check out the laws. Check out some people up uh, yeah. here. You know what? There's. I mean, I got some good friends up here. You do. You do know. And, <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Um, the raw materials for these things: sugar, flour, yeah, butter. It's literally basically. just. Butter, Are you sugar, buying butter. like 50 pound bags? Yep. Yep. Of the, all this as and big as we can get every Hobart time. mixers. Uh, not quite yet. Okay. We do have the commercial ovens and the racks and everything, which mm-hmm. technically we're not supposed to have. Right. I'm not saying anything. No, no I didn't no. say anything either. We're definitely not talking about it no. extremely publicly no. or anything. No, no of course not. And and anyone in Florida who's listening, you know, well, stop. <laughs> have you heard <laughs> of people being shut down? Like, you're really being cautious about this. Have uh, you, have I'm you... being cautious just because this has been my life for three years. And people go, oh, take the money, ship them out, yeah. do this. And I said, no. Yeah, I'm you gonna... ain't going to get caught and then you get caught. I like... don't want to ruin anything because this really just feels like what the future is going to be. Right. Sure. So... I mean, I'm just, we're taking it slow. We're not trying to rush anything. We're doing it all, whatever happens Smart. naturally. So, I mean, like I said, it's been three years and it's been three years to sort of learn and perfect my craft and have fun and do what I'm doing. And now it's just, we're ready for the next step. Gotcha. Very cool. I wish yes. you nothing but the best. And hopefully we'll see you up closer to New Jersey. Yes. I'll have to talk to the family and see what they say. You guys might have to do some convincing. Ah, uh, we could. Yeah. We're very convincing. <laughs> well, I mean, wherever you wind up, well, yeah, hopefully you just you can ship. Yes, that is. We will be able to ship no matter where we are. That cool. is the thing. Of cookies. So you'll have so many <coughs> cookies in your future. Oh, my God. I'm going to get fatter. Fatter. Oh, easy, Mike. I know. Easy. All right, let me go Mike, open. What? The cookie down. Just. Put it down. Don't tell me what to do, Just man. walk away. Don't be the Just man, man. Just walk away. Just walk away. Just walk away. This is what I like about your cookies. They're so beautiful. I was like, I don't want to eat that. Like you I'm have to He eat makes them. it so difficult for me to walk away. Yeah, I know. Walk away. All right. You guys keep talking. Okay. I'm going to so, go. Butterwinks.com. Yes, Butterwinks.com. Uh, at Butterwinks okay. on Twitter. At, at Butterwinks, Butterwinks on, on Twitter. On Instagram. Instagram. Woo! Butterwinks oh, on Facebook. Come by. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, are you oh, jumping on the mic now? This is oh, Geo. Like, For some reason, we have accents we now. Yes. British, oh, it's louder. Yeah. This is uh, you this can is your, now hear yourself. Uh, yeah. Stepping up to the mic, your friend Geo. This is Geo from Boston. Woo. Currently from Boston. Yeah. Currently from Boston. 
currently um, from somewhere different every year. Yeah, newly moved. Every three years, it changes. <laughs> she dr- she drove you down here. Yes, yes. Great Thankfully. friend, road tripping. And uh, so specifically to podcast. Yes, of course. With the this le- is my first with me, Mike, the legend. Yes, the and legend, to visit. living legend. Yes, to visit as well. Visit. It's the first time in the store. It's awesome in here. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah, I mean, did you think <laughs> that day? Yeah, you're cutting out my face. <laughs> that you're we like were... decorating it. That one day you would be. Here. Not at all. And I'm so crazy, happy right? I am. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Yes, this is awesome. I lo- I'm honored to be at the poker table and just to sit in the store. And it's, it's great. It's a little crazy. Uh, thank you. Shoot, all I if, can say is thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. No, no big deal. No biggie. No biggie. No, no biggie. You know, I'm Ming Chen, right? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I'm. Uh, He's I'm, the man. Like the man, not the man. No, not the man. I am the not man. the man. I am the man. The man. The man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, good luck with your the move. Thank you so much. Um, please keep everybody updated because I think. Of course, of course. Follow me. I will be posting all the secret collabs, all like, the updates. Or anybody all my listening, cookies. if you want your freaking custom cookie, whatever you want. Yep. Get it from you. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right. Well, we'll, we'll be seeing you soon. All right. I'll come back. I have no doubt. <laughs> I have no doubt. All right. Thank you, everybody. Butterwinks.com. All right. And thank you. Talk to you soon. <laughs> this has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio.